This ain't Texas, but let's get ready to yeehaw, y'all. Hey babes, what is up? It's Haley and welcome back to my channel. Okay, the excitement that I have on this thrift trip today is unreal. I stayed up all last night preparing my mood board for today's video. As you guys were able to tell from previous thrift trips, Haley's just been all about Western lately. Little touches like taller boots, leather, denim, plaid and gingham prints, stars, lace, bows. There's so much within this Western aesthetic that I am so inspired by. My daughters are actually doing a Spiro week in their school right now. And today they actually had a Western theme and just take a look at these photos, you guys. Like the overalls, the cowboy boots. Like, I seriously want to dress like my three-year-old daughter. And even though we are thrifting for this aesthetic, we're definitely keeping it real-life outfits. I just can't see myself strutting around with a cowboy hat. And I'm going to show you guys how you could take little bits and pieces of this aesthetic and apply it to your own fashion style and wardrobe so that it makes sense for you. So with all that, you guys, I've got my western thrift list ready, and I'm just ready to yeehaw into this thrift haul. Let's go! Okay, we made it inside and as much as I'm gonna show you guys a lot of inspo pictures for what I have in mind, I just wanna clarify that this is not gonna be like Western core in the sense that we're not gonna be looking for any, I don't know, intense fringe or cowboy hats or anything that I feel like is kinda hard to style for a regular person. What I really mean by this is we're gonna be looking for characteristics within the trend that I love. So lots of denim blue, a lot of neutrals too, white and black. So if you're someone who doesn't like to go bold with the colors, this trend is really great for you. Like I said, denim is definitely something we're gonna be seeing a lot of. This little top with the brown button I feel like it'd be super cute either tied in the front or even just laid open layered on a tank top fringe Like I said, I am NOT about it. So you guys know me I usually never go for black But there's actually a lot of super cute outfits that you could pair with like little black tops Like this linen button down would look so good with jeans and then of course white tops I mean these are so easy for me to pick out like this one I find so pretty with this little lace detail and it's got the bow in the front sleeves with an elastic Don't always look the nicest on me But I think it's worth trying and then this is just such a nice way to wear like a modest top in the summer because it's a t-shirt style it's got a little bow in the front too and I love the silky material. I still don't know what this print is called It's what kind of gives me that cowboy vibe I don't know if it's paisley if you guys know what I'm talking about Let me know but this tank top is just $1.99 and it would look so good paired underneath a cardigan I don't know if you guys can see but this black top has a little bit of that Isla lace also Okay, and then little throw on cardigans like these you see how it's netted with a lighter tank under I love the laid-back look it gives Okay, I just found the most gorgeous vest. It's actually a corduroy material and it's got these beautiful little flowers on it. Oh my god, I'm so excited about it. So y'all, you see what I mean? This is the kind of cowboy western vibe we are not going for. I mean, if you like it, great, but something this intense? No thank you. But then again, maybe I spoke too soon. There's something about this flannel that I'm either going to absolutely love or absolutely hate, but I feel like I have to just try it on. It's got a cool denim collar and it's only $4 too. But what do you guys think? Do you see it or very no? And if there's a section you definitely don't want to skip on, it is the blues because like I said, denim blues, especially denim shirts in general. I actually already have a couple. I mean, I literally have one that's almost identical to the set home, but these I love so much because you can wear them tucked in. You could wear them with the buttons open with a shirt underneath. And I don't know how else to explain it. I think the reason I'm pulled to blue so much is because I've got like Miley Cyrus in my head. Remember in the last seasons of Hannah Montana, she was like living on a ranch, like a really beautiful ranch. And then she's got the song, me and my old blue jeans. Like that's the vibe I'm going for today. Do you get it? Are you guys with me? I found this Harley Davidson top. I do love the back, but this piece is definitely intriguing to me. Like I said, I really love the gingham or like the small plaid print. This is actually an anthropology top. I like that the back is a little bit longer so it could cover your bum if I'm wearing it with some shorts. And again, boots like this, guys. The boots, they go with it all. Okay, y'all, before we go ahead and move into the bottom section, I want to show you a few tops that I found that, what's the word I'm intrigued by? I found this one right here that, again, just has like the most beautiful detailing on it and slight peplum sleeve. I've always wanted a really big pink button down. This one doesn't have all the buttons going all the way down. Paired with some denim shorts, I think this could be so cute. I don't think I'm gonna pick up this one because it is a sweater, but ugh, I don't know if you guys can see. It's got this like cool lacing here at the front and on the pockets also. Very lace-up boot inspired, which I love. This one I thought could be cute because I really do like the dainty florals, but I'm not crazy about the v-neck, so I'm gonna leave it behind. And then we've got this little navy cardigan, knitted also. Navy actually looks really good with jeans, you guys. And a cardigan that has as much holes as this is a really great way to layer in the summer without getting too hot. 
All right, well, we've made it to the bottoms, you guys, and something that you're gonna definitely wanna thrift to pretty much pair with almost all of these outfits is your perfect pair of blue denim shorts. I actually already took a look here, and unfortunately, all of the shorts are just like way too short for me. Like, I definitely prefer something a little bit longer so I feel more comfortable. But something else you can do if you have no luck in your shorts section is head on over to the denim, find a pair of jeans that just fit your bum in a really nice way. Ideally, if they're not too tight on the thigh, that would be great. And then just crop them to whatever size you want. You throw them in the wash, it'll give it a little bit of a rough hem. And there you go, DIY denim shorts that were so easy to make for your perfect length. But luckily, I was able to find a really great pair of black shorts that have the folds here on the bottom for sure long enough. The brand is Yukon Blue, and you can see how long that fly is. That's for sure a high-waisted fit. Okay, maybe not blue denim shorts, but also white ones. These ones are so sick. Just look at that tag. Only $3.99. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this tag. Love the little detail here too. Perfect. So perfect. When it comes to bottoms, there's only really two styles that keep in mind. Obviously, that's the blue denim jeans and some corduroys. And you got Guys, I can't believe that I found these. Um, look here, some vintage Wrangler wide leg corduroy pants for $2.99. Look at that tag here on the back. It's a collaboration with Billabong. It's size 29, so they do look like they may be a bit big, but maybe even as a looser fit, it could be good. Okay, we're gonna move on to the skirts. I already checked out the denim skirts. There was like three there and not in my size. So I'm checking out the other skirts right now. Hopefully we can find like a nice midi skirt. I've seen so many of these tiered skirts within this trend and I think it looks so good. Seriously, any Pinterest girly could pick up a skirt like this and make it look absolutely stunning. But I know that this has to sit like super low on my hips and because I've got short legs and a long torso, I don't think it'd work for me. Moving on, like I said, some of my favorite outfits within this aesthetic is the layered ones. So right now we're gonna be looking for some knits, the cardigans, and possible jackets that we can wear on top of the outfits. This is neutral and striped and super long, which I actually love, with shorts and boots, a little bit of leg showing for sure. And then chunky, thick cardigans just like this look adorable too, that you can kind of hide your hands in them. And ugh, navy, I just love, love, love navy right now, especially these cable knit cardigans. And then jackets, same thing. Something so easy that you could just throw on and layer on an outfit, especially if it's got a lot of character. Leather jackets are of course a must. I already have my perfect one at home that I'm gonna style if anything, but I found this one right here here, which is a Ralph Lauren jacket and I absolutely love the red and the stripes it's only $9.99 too and I feel like a touch of red fits in with this theme so well just look at how good red looks with brown you know what I mean so happy about this one and then of course of course you cannot pass up trying to find your perfect denim jacket because I mean nothing says Western cowgirl more than this a good denim jacket is the cherry on top to a Western outfit I've already got a couple at home that I love but there are definitely a few good ones here too Okay, we finally made it. The section that I was most excited for within this trend was the dresses section because as you guys know, I'm just like loving all things dresses right now, especially with the spring and summer coming up. There's just so many cute little dresses that fall within this style. And you guys already know dresses with boots is like my favorite combination right now. If you guys saw my closet clean out in my last video, you saw that I maybe have like four or five dresses. So I definitely need to expand my dress collection. So let's see what we can find. Okay, I found this dress right here that I just love the vibe of the lace on the bottom. Kind of looks like it could be a nightgown but also not and it's actually a free people dress i think this with a denim jacket could look gorgeous okay and i was able to get lucky with two more little dresses the first one i feel like is the western vibe to a t it's a gingham dress with the sleeves i don't know you guys so many of you tell me that the puff sleeves looks good on me but every time i try it on i like feel a little bit silly but this is like a navy gingham so i do want to try it and then the other dress i found is this one i'm a little bit nervous that it may be too short i'm not sure but a white dress was definitely on my list of things to find because they just pair so beautifully with denim with brown with tall boots especially oh wait oh this has sleeves i don't know if i like that i thought it was just like a spaghetti strap dress this one's a maybe <laughs> We're officially onto accessories now. And I have to say, accessories is what really takes an outfit that is so simple and gives it the vibe or aesthetic that you want. For example, for the Western trend, definitely you wanna lean towards the leathers like this. This one's actually pretty cool because it can be a handbag, but then you can also wear it crossbody. I love that. This purse is too small on me, but I do really appreciate this beading. It's so pretty. Lots of like natural texture, you know what I mean? Just like woven bags like this. Oh my God, you guys, are you serious? Why is it that every single time I'm doing these themed videos, I literally find a coat 
Gooch bag that matches the theme perfectly. This one's so perfect with the white leather and the brown buckle. I found one for Valentine's Day. Then I found another one when I was thrifting for spring. And now this one for the Western vibe. Is this a trend? Let's see. Some really unreal bag finds today, you guys. This little leather mini bag. I love the thick strap and just the shape of it in general. And then look at how cool and on theme this one is. It's a coach bag too with the natural fibers and the red details. It does have a little bit of a stain. Otherwise, I would have for sure picked it up. Before we try everything on, we can't forget the kicker of this whole trip. Kicker. <laughs> That's my little pun be because we're in the shoe section. But you guys, boots. I mean, I already have some of my favorites. I have my favorite brown pair and my favorite black pair. And I really think that's all you need. But I'm still gonna take a little look around. Obviously cowboy boots, super popular within this trend. I don't like ones that look too difficult to wear. That's why my cowboy boots kind of have like a straight across cut instead of a triangle cut. And I also try to opt for a square toe instead of a pointed toe because I think it's a bit more wearable. But let's see if we can find any good ones. Here is a nice brown pair pretty similar to the one that I have and it's also more of a square toe any kind of like riding boot or moto boot in general is really perfect for this aesthetic I love the contrast stitch details I always feel like you could get so much luckier with cowboy boots in the men's section and I'm right oh, these ones are actually so beautiful and hold up they got a square toe I think I may need to try them yeah you guys they actually fit me perfect and you see exactly what I mean they have the cowboy boot design but because they're a square toe it's a little bit more wearable if this was a pointed toe it would feel too costumey to me and then I couldn't pass up the kids section I actually found Aaliyah's cowboy boots here she wore them today for western day and oh my god wait not cowboy boots but literally pink Doc Martens these are so insane just $9.99 and I feel like there's no way that I can leave these behind for $9.99 you guys know the girls have the best shoe collection this will be such a good addition all right guys i'm just about ready to try everything on literally an entire cart full i already have like a couple outfits that i put together but i'm gonna try everything on quickly whatever i decide to take home you guys will see a haul of it where i show you how i pair everything but i have a feeling we'll be taking a lot home so stay tuned <laughs> This dress is absolutely perfect for the theme, but the puff sleeves, I, I just can't do it. I love this, but this, ugh, it's like, no. It's just throwing me off. <laughs> All right, guys, this one definitely had potential. I love the flowiness of it, but the sides are a little bit too short, and it's also see-through, and I'm just imagining, like, finding something to wear under this so that it's not see-through is gonna be so annoying. So I'm gonna leave it behind, but a nice flowy dress like this is still on my list. Okay, you guys, I just tried everything on. We got so many goods that I'm taking home with me. Some of them definite win. A couple of them for sure fails, but I'm gonna bring you on home and show you everything that I ended up buying and show you just exactly how I'm planning to style them into outfits. from daycare and I wasn't kidding. Aliyah, show them your boots. Did you have fun today? Have the um. <laughs> And we've officially made it back. I'm literally in my house clothes and my slippers. And I just can't wait to get myself into some cuter fits. So you saw a sneak peek of some of the stuff I thrifted and now let's go ahead and put it into outfits. Because truly you could always find good pieces but it's really all about how you pair them together. So if this whole Western vibe so far has been your thing, stick around, you're gonna get so much inspo from me. Let's get trying. Okay, well, for outfit number one, I decided to pull out the one, like, most colorful piece within everything. Because as you guys are gonna notice, a lot of, like, the Western vibe outfits are super neutral. So lots of browns, blacks, whites, creams, beiges, all that kind of stuff. But I told myself I really want to add more color into my spring-summer wardrobe. So I'm not adjusting myself to the aesthetic, I'm adjusting the aesthetic to me. So you guys saw that I thrifted this super big button-up that's got the buttons right here in the front. It's got the pocket as well. It is an extra large, but it's actually also a maternity shirt which you know I love clothes that could double as maternity wear I got the top for $5.99 and decided to style it with some of my favorite shorts that have a little bit of the raw hem in the bottom but okay hear me out as much as the shirt is super big that's kind of why I like to pair with some shorts because then you still see a little bit of leg and I feel like it's a really good balance especially when you pair with boots too in all of these outfits you're gonna be seeing boots a lot of boot options for sure and then for accessories when you're looking for something more Western I recommend trying to find leathers or suede anything with like tassels or fringes also it's such a nice statement accent piece to be like the cherry on top for outfits like this but you guys I'm obsessed and definitely gonna put this in the archives of clothes 
clothes I'm gonna wear when I'm pregnant again. All right, I have a feeling in a lot of these outfits you're gonna see very similar characteristics. Usually a bigger, more flowy shirt, some shorts or a skirt, and then the pair of boots. But I love this outfit so much. Okay, okay, let's start off with this top. You see like the eyelet lace over here? I find it so, so, so pretty. I love that it has the subtle flowy sleeves too. And I don't know what it is about like eyelet lace that just gives me a more feminine Western vibe. $12.99, but green tags were half off. And then the shorts. These are gonna be my favorite new shorts. They like roll at the bottom. They are the perfect high rise like mom fit from the brand Yukon Blue. Never heard of it before. And they were only $3.99 too. Because of the fact that the outfit was already black and white, that's where I wanted to add in some of the neutral colors. So I have my brown tall boots and then this bag once again. I really feel like this bag kind of goes with everything. So you're gonna see it paired with a lot of these outfits. And I love the fact that it's also a long sleeve. I know sometimes in the summer it's really hard to wear them, but it's such a nice thin material that it's super breathable too. So don't shy away from like long quarter sleeve shirts, even though spring and summer is coming, trust me. You guys, RAC is so loud, so I'm sorry if you can hear it, but this next outfit I am so obsessed with. Oh my God, like I literally wanna go somewhere wearing this right now. So the main thing I really wanted to style in this outfit was the shoes. I got these cowboy boots from the men's section for $7.99. They're honestly so comfortable. They're not a stiff leather, which is great. They've also got the square toe, which I love. And I just love the brown bottom with the black detail on top because as you could tell I'm always pairing either brown or black accessories but automatically when I found these shoes I knew that I wanted to pair it with a denim dress I already had this is it and honestly this dress is like super cute on its own too you guys just know that I always just try to cover up my shoulders a little bit more because I just feel more comfortable that way so I paired it with this netted cardigan that's a little t-shirt style it's got the sweetest little button and then this bag I mean this bag really just goes so well with all the looks so adorable so Western because just denim with the cowboy boots just looks amazing together but definitely with like a more feminine touch, you feel me? By the way, you guys, these are from the brand Rolled Up. It's actually a child's shoe in a size six, which is kind of like equivalent to a size eight women's. So always remember, check the kids' shoe sections. Okay, listen, you guys, I know I'm wearing a lot of shorts here, but what can I say? These outfits pair the best with shorts. And if there's anything you guys should learn, have two pairs of shorts that you absolutely love, one black pair and one perfect blue denim short. You guys know how much I love these ones that we thrifted in the past. And honestly, this piece right over here, this knitted navy cardigan. It was $9.99 and I'm pretty sure it was even discounted on top of that. I feel like these are going to be the pieces of the summer. Like you saw in my last outfit, these like knitted knitted crochet textures. I feel like they just add so much like visual interest to an outfit because really think about it. Like the base of this is just a tank top, shorts and boots, like nothing special. But then when you add this layer on top, it just seems like a more put together look that truly I'm just like so happy with. For sure gonna be outfit repeating this throughout the entire summer. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you guys how literally with the same base outfit, you could change your top and get a completely different look. Tank and jeans under with the boots, but I threw on this little thrifted vest. It's like one of those button downs that honestly you could find so many of these at the thrift store. And I actually think the best way to do a denim on denim look is to actually wear two pieces of denim that are in different shades. As you can see, my shorts are definitely a much lighter wash than the top. So it still gives the outfit some kind of separation, but it looks so good together. I thrifted this vest for $3.99 and I just couldn't complete the whole Western vibe without doing at least one denim on denim fit. You could wear these so many different ways. I can literally button it up all the way to the top. That looks really good too. Then you've got some people doing the whole like tie moment. For me, this feels too costumey. So I would rather just leave the buttons open like this. If this vest was a lot shorter, it wouldn't look as good, but the proportions work really well because it actually extends to more than halfway of the shorts, which overall give it a more laid back feel. Okay, made it little swaps like the boots and the bag, but added the jacket. Y'all, this is probably my favorite find of the entire trip because it's just so freaking cool. Okay, the Polo Ralph Lauren jacket for $12.99. It's got the subtle red pinstripes and the nice thick buttons. And honestly, you know how much I love denim jackets, but what I love even more is colored denim jackets. And I actually feel like this is a staple that I'm gonna wear again and again. Oh my God, I just love this so much. I'm telling you guys, in this thrift trip, I think that I found my vibe the most. I do feel like I need to thrift myself some more bottoms within this trend because really all I did was pair everything with shorts today pretty much but that's very realistic to a Florida summer and we got to be realistic here but comment down below right now which of these pieces was your favorite were you like super into the cowboy boots the jacket anything else within this western aesthetic that gets you really excited as you guys were able to see so many of these outfits definitely felt like a western theme but none of them felt like costumes these are just so true to something that I would just like throw on and actually walk out the door with which is the whole goal when you're going to thrift certain items you gotta just keep it realistic to you if you're watching up to this point you know that you're the real MVP we love the ones to stick around all the way till the end. We're like our own little community. And if you 
are watching up to this point, then comment down below wild for Western because that's really how I feel. I am wild for this. I'm for sure gonna be styling this throughout the summer and adding to my boot collection as well. Playing around with different aesthetics like this is so fun. So be sure to comment down below what you guys are wanting to see me thrift for next. I already have a list of a couple, but I wanna see which are really popular and I'm gonna prioritize those. And with all that, you guys, after doing a closet declutter, I finally got myself some clothes that I'm so happy with to take into the new spring summer season. And I really hope that it inspired you to do the same. I love you all forever and always. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next one.